A man is dead and a woman hospitalized after they poison themselves with chloroquine phosphate, a chemical used to remove parasites from fish. The couple were trying to prevent themselves from getting the novel coronavirus. The couple, both in their 60s, heard President Donald Trump talk about chloroquine as a potential treatment for COVID-19 on a recent press conference. The woman said she recognized the name of the chemical because she used to use it to treat her koi fish for parasites in the past. Her and her husband were afraid of getting sick, so they uh, mixed a little bit of that parasite remover that contained the chloroquine with some liquid and they drank it. And within 20 minutes, both of them started feeling super sick. The woman started vomiting and the man had some severe respiratory issues, so they called 911. Uh, but soon after they got to the hospital, the man died, and the woman was in critical condition, but she has since stabilized and is expected to recover. Now, chloroquine is an FDA-approved drug for treating malaria. It's effective at killing the early stages of the plasmodium parasite. That's the parasite that causes malaria. It's also an effective anti-inflammatory, which is why chloroquine is prescribed for lupus and rheumatoid arthritis. And when it's used as prescribed, it's relatively safe. But when someone overdoses on it, it's toxic and it can be fatal. It's also not recommended for people with psoriasis to ever take chloroquine. The drug has been in the news lately because scientists have been looking at it as a potential treatment for COVID-19. There was a study in 2005 that found that chloroquine stopped the SARS-CoV virus from replicating in cell cultures. And the SARS-CoV virus is closely related to SARS-CoV-2, which is the virus that causes COVID-19. And a recent study found that chloroquine does the same thing with SARS-CoV-2 in cell cultures. So that's really promising. But human clinical trials are definitely needed before the FDA would approve the drug for uh, treating COVID-19.